I and my son are getting ready to go to New York to visit our and Janelle and the family. We are in Michigan and we have, here's our car. We have a box of stuff we're going to give them. We have like a bunch of cocoa powder. And here's a list of thrift stores we plan to go to on the way. So anyway, we're about ready to go. We are at Goodwill Emporium. I don't know why they call it an emporium, but they do. And I refilled my water bottle. And show them what we bought, George. We bought this pan. It's like a little pizza pan. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. 99 cents. And in this box, here we have a box in the car where we're putting things that we buy. We are in Lansing, Michigan now, and we've driven maybe 70 miles, and this is how the car looks now. It's getting really full. And from here we are continuing on to Flint, and then on to Canada. We're having snack time, and we have some um, popcorn in a bag and some apples we dried and we'll see what else we come up with. And I should point out we are in the parking lot of a thrift store and look at all the junk back there. Thrift stores are the same in Michigan as in New York. Too much stuff. I'm in Flint and I was at St. Vincent de Paul and I had quite the scare. Well, first of all, this was a really interesting store. Very, very junky, full of stuff. But you could fill a basket for $10. So it was a, I found some really good stuff. The scare was that I got to the cash register and I could not find my wallet. And the last thrift store I stopped at was about an hour ago, um, 60 some miles away. So anyway, I looked and looked and looked and could not find it. And then I finally thought, we ate a snack. Let's look in the lunch bag. And there it was. So I feel so relieved. I can't even tell you. Anyway, on to the next stop. It's our last thrift store before we close across the border. And right next to it is this cool old RV sign be one of those right by our house but they took it down not too long ago. I was really sad. We've just arrived in Port Huron and here's the Blue Water Bridge. This is the United States. This is Canada. We just passed a park there. It has about the most gorgeous trees ever. But we're not going to go to that. We don't really have time. There's some tugboat there and there's a freighter. I don't know if you can see it. There's a freighter going under the bridge, and lots of um, people with um, fishing poles set up attached to the rail here. And there's George. He loves watching boats and trucks, and it looks like we shouldn't have a hard time getting over the border. Not many vehicles. Lunch is, or dinner more like it, is carrots from our garden, a homemade pita. Some dried apples, some tomatoes from our garden, some um, almonds and sunflower seeds, boiled eggs. We have some cheese in there and some homemade pesto. People have set up lots of fishing poles here along the pier and they have bells connected to them so when they catch a fish it'll ring. This is the Huron light ship. This is a museum and a light ship it's like it's a boat, but it doesn't have a motor, and they just park it out in the water, so it acts as a lighthouse. There it is. Pretty cool. I'm glad we decided to walk down here, because this is pretty neat. George just told me he sees a boat, so he leaped out of the car, and there is the boat. It is very, very big. And it's going to go under the bridge. Our GPS, I, last year we were able to get Canada on the GPS and now we can't find Canada on it, so we're going to have to muddle our way to Niagara Falls. There goes the big boat underneath the bridge. It doesn't look like much in the dark, but it's very cool. This is where we stayed last night. It was 
should have taken the video last night when the beds were still made, but we were way too tired for that. And here's the bathroom. Kind of like the bathroom, some cute retro tiles. I always like retro stuff. So anyway, it was clean, it was decent, and it was only $34, which included the tax. So I highly recommend Advance in Niagara Falls. It has a pool. It's a small place, um, really kind of cute 1960s retro vibe here. I like it. I would definitely stay here again. It's not fancy, but it's very decent and clean. Good morning. It is Thursday, and Laura, my sister Laura and my nephew George are on their way from Michigan. Aunt Laura doesn't make us have a, a perfect house when we come, but we do want it to be at least somewhat neat for her. So we are going to do a little cleaning right now. Daddy's vacuuming right now so that Aunt Laura can come into a nice clean house. What are you doing to help? Um, everything. Hey, Gracie. What you doing to be helpful? See, I'm waiting for my breakfast. I'm waiting for my breakfast. What are we going to eat, Grace? What are we going to eat? Oatmeal. Daddy is making salads. We, what we are having for lunch is a salad and hot dogs because, well, we had a late breakfast. One o'clock, where do you think they are by now? It depends on how Aunt Laura's night went. And if it's raining like this, she might just want to hurry up and get here. I think they left around. If it was a good night, I think they left around. Um, they probably ate around. Seven to eight, and they probably left at about nine ish. Well, but didn't she say that she was going to go visit some thrift shops? Yes. Well, thrift mm. shops don't take very long. And in this rain, she probably doesn't want to do thrift shops. Hey, little hand. Aunt Laura doesn't care about rain. She's like, <laughs> she's like Peter. Doesn't really care. No, she's going to stay. I'm thinking she's going to get here four thirty nine or something like that. Well, she's got to ship out her eBay. Exactly. Right. She'll get you like four fifty one. Right as we're fully out of the driveway. So we are only about uh, 45 minutes from their house, maybe a little farther, I don't know. Here we are, we're at a rest area, and we're going to go in. They have a farmer's market here at the rest area, that's kind of cool. And we're going to do something here that will put to shame our Janelle using a map. Can you guess what it is? We are going to use a phone card and a telephone booth, and we're going to call them and tell them we're on our way. The kids worked really hard on all the stuff they needed to do, and we got the house in pretty good shape, ready for Aunt Laura to come. Are you ready for Aunt Laura? <laughs> I think she is, but she wants to read. Peter looks like he's ready to do some serious birding. Yep, he has his... I have two water bottles. And two sweaters, camo sweaters. No, they're not camo, they're just green. And what else do I have? Binoculars? No, I was just gonna put them on the neck. Yeah, and then I and see. then I have them, and then I have what is it called? Oh yes, my lamp headlight. And and all our bird stuff at the bottom. Charity is raking leaves. See, there's a lot of leaves you can see. There's a lot. Oh, we're burying Mary. Where's Mary? There she is. Want me to bury you? No, because I want him up. You're in the leaf pile with, with swimsuit on? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you cold? No. You no. Cold? It's like <laughs> yeah. Now let's see if I can hop in. Ah! Look at me. I'm now in the sleep pile. <laughs> so does this place look familiar? We're at the Ballston Lake, or whatever it's called, post office, and we're dropping this package off because we have to ship it to Connecticut, and it was $9 cheaper to ship it from here than from Michigan. And now we have an empty spot, so I'm pretty happy about that. We bought a bunch of junk. So, in we go. 
While we're here, I thought we should check their post office box, see it in person. Janelle is working on her 31 party right now, and she <laughs> and we have a little girl who loves being with mommy. Absolutely Hi. loves mommy. At the bottom, right? And also, she's looking up uh, the number for the feeder watch because we have a I'll problem. <laughs> she's waving at huh. the birdie. <laughs> uh, we have some finches at our feeder that have an eye disease, so we need to find out what to do about it. Finches that have the eye disease. Uh, what do we do about that? They said to clean, take down the feeders, clean them with 10 to 1 bleach solution, um, rake the ground and clean it up underneath, and then leave the feeders down for one week. So I guess we won't be feeding birds for a week. And they said don't catch the birds because you need permits to catch wild birds and handle them. So John felt really bad about that. Cornell's no fun. Uh, yes, they are. They just want to help the birds. Well, on a, um, on, a, on a video we saw, was, um, on an ad we saw on the TV, we saw that they caught, taught, caught ducks, baby ducks, and they washed them in soap because they, and wa hot water and soap because they had, they were hurt and they had, and they had oil on them. Can't you do that with house finches? Well, they probably had permits, I'm guessing. Now Daddy is taking down the feeders. Poor birds, they don't get any more food yet. But maybe in a week we can feed them again. I hope they don't land in there and fall. Peter is a little upset. He feels bad for the poor birds. But it's the best thing to do now. Here we are. We're going to see... If we can, I'm surprised some kids haven't run out yet. Let's go, let's go ring the doorbell, George. Hey kids, I think someone's here. Oh, that was here. <laughs> here they are. <laughs> can they ring the doorbell? You, think, you, you, you want to wait for them to ring the doorbell or should we let them in? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome. Hi everybody. Whenever anyone visits, there's always a lot of junk exchanged. We already gave Aunt Laura her stuff. Not all of it, though. Oh, Some well, we have a lot more for her. Stuff Grandma and Grandpa that they, that they left behind. Right, and we have a lot more for her to go through. But here's our box of stuff. Okay, Janelle, I have some cocoa powder for you. Thank you. Oh, for all those sweet treats, right? Yes. <laughs> this might be for Peter or John. We I have the Detroit have Tigers. Baseball cap? Okay. Give that to John because he likes them. Oh. Where's John? Is he working on a puzzle right now? Okay, now it's the dreaded clothing. These are actually Oh no, we don't nice. like clothes. These are nice jeans though. <laughs> and these... Oh, Janelle, another hostess gift for you. Oh. There's a pizza stone in it that's 50 cents. Nice. And it's Pampered Chef. I don't know if you want it, but if not, you can put it on the community garage sale or it can be a giveaway. I might want to try it. Thank you. You're welcome. I mean, for 50 cents. I, you know, exactly. I you. Okay, and in here is, oh, hmm, Aunt Becky sent this along. Oh, yes! And this oh, is the right. dress I remember that. that the flower girl wore at your wedding. Oh, there's the front. So there's a pretty dress for probably Mary to yeah, wear. Grace. Grace, Grace <laughs> was, it, was Ash that little when you got married? Unbelievable. Yeah, I know, right? No. Oh, some pepper. We just had way too much pepper. Oh, I thought you could probably use that. Yep. Oh, look here. It's a letter for charity from her cousin. Thank so you. save 47 cents or whatever. Can we unload the car? Oh, and then, and then some things that um, our... Our towel rod broke, and I'm hoping that it's the same to fix one of these okay, as a tuba well, brace. We will try. And I'm uh, hoping try that getting Saturday. a dent out of a spoon is also <laughs> the same as, say, fixing a tuba belt. And that's about the extent of it. Okay, well, thank you for the goodies. Now the kids are making some pizza. Oh, you're going to have little mini pizza. Does that sound good? saying to me he wanted to see me cut a pepper because he wonders if I do it the same way he does 
And I have a way of doing it where it doesn't waste anything. And when I showed my friend once, she was really impressed. And now she does it that way too. Tip of the knife under the crown of the pepper. You just cut as much of it as you want to cut off. If you just want a quarter of the pepper, you can do that. And then you pull it off and you pull it from the crown. And what it does is it leaves all the pepper here. It doesn't leave any pepper underneath the crown. So there is no waste. And then you can just pull that off. If you, we make soup stock with our vegetable scraps. So that's what we would do with this these pepper parts, but they feed them to their chickens. So that's another good way of, tight wad way of using a pepper. What is soup stock? Okay, you save all your vegetable scraps or you like your chicken bones or whatever, and then you put them into, we put them in a bag in the freezer, and then when the bag is full, we put them into our, um, in a pot, and then we cover it with water, and you boil it for a while, and then you drain off the water, and then when you make soup, you just use that instead of water in your soup, and it gives it more flavor and more vitamins. Oh. So that's what we do with our scraps. We call it a stockpile, the bag of soup. <laughs> the bag of the freezer. I've never seen anyone else do it this way before. You have to slice the pepper anyway, so it, it doesn't really create any extra steps. Charity's putting some basil and oregano on the on the pizza. And I think we got that fresh from our garden. Yes. George really wants to sleep in a tent, so they're gonna sleep on a tent in our on they're gonna sleep in a tent on our deck. And we're going to set it up right now. Are you gonna help Lydia? And we're putting it on boards just in case if it rains that they won't get wet. Oh, we'll sleep in the tent? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I sleep in the tent too. Because I want to sleep in the tent. Everyone wants to sleep in the tent. Uh -huh. That's the are the two pizzas. They look good. And then we have some carrots and apples. And again, the carrots are, uh, we have white carrots, orange carrots, and red carrots. So oh. don't think they're, they've gone bad. Just sitting down to do our family Bible time and look at this. Everybody wants to sit with Aunt Laura. Over here, we just have Janelle, Grace, and me. Maybe I should okay. fix the parents who are yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, oh. <laughs> Laura is an expert Scrabble player, and she's. And she's gonna yeah. be. We're gonna be up until two o'clock. Okay. So, so John is trying to glean what information he can from Aunt Laura. So that is one big way of winning. The second way is never give your opponent a good spot to lay as much as possible. We finished our Q&A video, we finished filming mm. our thermometer, we finished <laughs> filming the kids Q&A video, and it is... It's late. Not even midnight yet. <laughs> so we're gonna call it a night. We've got, Art's got some editing to do. Serious editing. And it's just gonna be crazy, crazy. But it's been a fun day, and thank you so much for watching. We've had a, we've had a lot of fun today, and tomorrow we're, we've got some more fun plans. So I hope you guys will keep watching. Subscribe to our channel, share us with your friends, and we will see you for our next vlog. Good night. Bye.